the halberdier upgrade, um, I don't know, it's, is that just a fishing ship? Yeah. Right, we're gonna get Bodkin Arrow now. Uh, I think they should have been in the original game, but I don't know. Eventually, eventually I guess the uh, cavalry, especially paladins, got too, um, too strong, so I guess that's why they made the halberdier. So I don't really view using halberdiers as cheating. It's just uh, they're very cost effective and I would prefer to use them over like skirmishers. I mean, freaking skirmishers, let's be honest here. So I'm just going to go with making an army of pikemen, which are eventually going to turn into halberdiers. I don't actually know. Uh, I'm pretty sure that um, it was originally no halberdiers. So one thing you, I'm going to do, at least, is move all my villagers over to go and get lumber over there and I'm also going to get the upgrade at the same time. I might also want some more villagers on gold. Remember once again you're dealing with the population population limit of 75. Now uh, you'll get your castles up so don't worry about population limit. That'll bring you to 75 so you won't need to bring uh, build any houses. The pavilions actually count as houses by the way. Just so you know. I'm going to get three on gold. And I'm gonna make one trebucket. Yes, I know it's a trebuchet. Uh, right, so meanwhile, I'm gonna get the upgrades for like chainmail armor and such. Uh, for some reason, the Franks can't get bracer. I don't know why. I guess because their archers aren't very good. Dire wolf coming in, ruining this villager's day. Although the villager seems okay, honestly. So I guess. I guess you failed. Pathfinding! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I take it I built this in an unreachable place? Of course. Alright. There we go. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot reach this. That's a bit unfortunate, honestly. Alright, so I don't think they'll even, I'll even need murder holes, honestly. But, eh. So we're going to keep bringing out villagers onto gold, because you're eventually going to need a lot of gold in a short period of time. So I might get gold shaft mining. Jesus. There's even a fucking wasp in my room now, I, if you can hear that. What the hell, man? It's buzzing around my head. I'm pretty sure you could hear that. But, what the fuck? It's not- it's- it's me. It's not even warm outside. Jesus. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, I never noticed those berries over there. I don't know if I should keep them on that or not. Um, I'm going to say no, and I'm going to move them onto farms. Or at least some of them. So I'll bring like three of them off that. Uh, going to get some more pikemen, of course. Getting that upgrade there. Right, we should be fine over there. Uh, yeah, so it's not really going to take <laughs> take that long. We're going to make another tre trebuchet. Uh, oh yeah, these were monks. Alright, I, I forgot where they were completely there for a second. Right, so we're going to keep making that. For the halberdier upgrade, you need 300 food and 600 gold, as I recall. So that is quite a lot. I'm going to kill this fucking dog. <sighs> I don't know, I, I need a less sensitive microphone or something. Alright, um, hmm. Gonna bring these guys onto gold. Three of them. One of them will go on a farm. I need to re, yeah, reseed those farms at some point. Right, I can't get the uh, last, last thing for that. I don't know if it's worth it getting handcart. Probably is, but, yeah. I usually don't, don't get it. So we'll get that last one. Actually, I can get two. Then again, that brings me down to like no gold at all. I think you only need three trebuchets really for attacking. And four more pikemen will do it. Right, so here's what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring out everyone we're gonna use to attack, including these pikemen, which are gonna be halberdiers, obviously. So yeah, make sure you've got pretty much everyone on gold. If you need additional gold, we'll get get it after uh, taking on Shalon. So uh, don't worry about that. 
Now, you might want to try and get siege engineers as well if you have enough wood. It might be a little hard for you to, to get it though. Now, yeah, Shalon should have attacked uh, by now in the original game, but in this case they are not. For some reason. Alright. Uh, I could have got a conscription at some point, but didn't bother. Right, so Halbadir and get Siege Engineers. Oh, uh, I can also get Trebuchet. Which means I'll need to kill someone off. I'll kill a villager off. And, yeah, Siege Engineers. Oh yeah, of course I used the wood for a trebuchet. Right, so four trebuchets will definitely be good now. Um, and there come the farms. I'm going to get Siege Engineers first. And then I'll re receive those farms. Right, so let's get everyone up here and ready. So here's what you're going to pretty much do. Is pretty much bring everyone up here. Uh, but make sure that you don't attack before it's necessary. Uh, maybe I should have scouted them out first. I don't know. I guess this pikeman's going to stay a pikeman. Because... <laughs> Holy shit. There is actually a cannon galleon? Right when I'm ready to attack? Oh well. I killed it anyway. I'm surprised. Okay, so apparently that cannon galleon is there sometimes. I don't fucking know. It's making up its own mind. Alright, so stand ground... Probably, yeah. So, trebuchets have incredible uh, line of sight. So keep that in mind. <laughs> so it looks like Shalon does make a, a navy of some kind. And we'll bring up the trebuchets. Right, so that's all you really need to do. What? Oh, you fucking asshole. Alright, so trebuchet time. And... They'll basically send out all their knights to attack you, and that is a lot of knights, Dan. And you're pretty much just wanting to make sure that these uh, trebuchets stay alive. They'll pretty much go for whoever attacks, I believe, so it looks like they're just going for a bunch of these halberdiers. They'll resign right after this. You're probably going to lose a bunch of your troops. Uh, just bring the trebuchets in. I don't know why they say charge so late. I believe that's when they normally attack, they say charge, but apparently they're not, they don't attack normally in this version of the game at least. Uh, you'll lose all your troops, but uh, at the very least, um, they will resign, so you won't have to worry about them anymore. Not that you were really worrying about them before, but you know. Uh, so after that, basically just uh, sort out your economy again if you've got farms that need receding or whatever. Uh, I don't know if they get crop rotation. Oh Jesus, apparently we, ra we ran in here with some guys. I don't know what they were thinking. Well, I guess we will, we will attack them there. Look at that, look at... Did you see that knight moonwalking? Best. Best knight, seriously. So that is Shalon resigning, which is fine for us. And we are getting conscription. I'm going to settle for a bunch more uh, halberdiers over here. Going to get iron casting at the same time. And... I think you only really need... Right, we're going to get one more trebuchet. You don't really need that many trebuchets. I think that might actually force them to come attack here, which is not bad. Alright, so we got everyone off this gold pile. Which means uh, there are a couple mining camps that you can place that around here. See there's some stone over here and stuff, but you know. It's nothing too big. So you're gonna have to pretty much go with the resources you already have. Pretty much. You can put down a stable and use knights and eventually cavaliers and paladins, but those upgrades are pretty costly. I mean cavaliers upgrade isn't very costly, but you know. I'm gonna say I want that knight if I can get him. Looks like he knows. Fine then. So I'm just going to bring out uh, halberdiers and a lot of them. And it did cross out that for me. Uh, right. This is probably too many trebuchets. Honestly. Alright, so we're going to get ballistics when we can. Which shouldn't be that long. I don't think that does affect trebuchets, but... It's helpful to have for the castles anyway. 
because they can't <laughs> seem to hit these guys. Don't know what they're doing anyway. Kind of just running around there. You know, I'll cal I could get a cavalier upgrade, honestly, but, you know. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Right, so I don't need this many trebuchets. We're also going to get Blast Furnace. But uh, I could have built a barracks over there and made it a shorter walk or whatever. going to walk this gate. But yeah, um, that is how easy it is. All you have to do is take out their town center. This one might actually be easier because they don't make... These guys don't make too much of an army. I mean, they, they make a little army, but not, not terribly... Not like a, a ton. Alright, so yeah, there's a few gold piles, but they, they had watchtowers uh, beside them before. So make sure you take out Shalon before, uh, before getting these resources. I'm also going to bring those monks over there. Alright, um, I'm saying this is probably enough to go. Because all I have to do is def defend the trebuchets for a little while, and I forgot this gate was locked. Uh, so bring the these guys out in front, but uh, they're not going to be too. There's not going to be too much resistance here. Remember, trebuchets have a, a long line of sight, so keep that in mind. Pikemen on their own aren't going to be too big a deal because they, they seem to spam pikemen and then uh, just just keep making those pikemen. Uh, so, what you got to take out first is their gate. They are going to send some guys at you because of this, but it's not going to be too big a deal for you right now. Just make sure that you try and hit that uh, that gate and make sure you try and uh, dodge the castle if you can. My knights are definitely going to go down. So uh, yeah, just make sure that you are attacking, but don't get too close to the enemy base. Come on, come on. So you are going to kind of, you're going to have to get close, but trebuchets, especially with siege engineers, they have a lot of range, so make sure that you take advantage of that. And I believe that will be it for the orange player. Unfortunately, I couldn't get my last trebuchet in there. I think you can actually fit four, but I think I needed to get a little bit closer. Uh, but it's going to go down regardless. And once that castle goes down especially, that's going to be very good for you. After this, you pretty much can go on and win this scenario very easily. And I'll show you how. So basically get your trebuchets and everything in order, uh, wait for them to resign just in case they have anything left. But bring your trebuchets up. And I'm going to get the monks up here too. Obviously you could do stuff like build a castle outside Rem uh, or whatever. Uh, that, that, that could work I guess, but there is a much easier way and that is just to use like four or five trebuchets and immediately take out their... God damn it! not clicking on the scout. Just immediately take them out. Uh, so I usually set everyone on no attack stance and basically uh, go up to where the... Uh... So I need 9,000 gold for spies, uh, which basically reveals every um, enemy line of sight on the map. Uh, so if you wait until... Uh, the orange player dies, it actually will be a lot cheaper. But I think I'm still not going to have enough anyway, so whatever. You see it goes down, it's 200 per villager. That's them resigned. So it looks like it's going to stick at 7,004. Oh, it's going to be 7,000, alright. Uh, which is still too much. I only have 1,500. So if you do manage to kill a bunch of yellows villagers, you might be able to get it, but, you know like kill all these guys. I think this belongs to Shalon, but they just ran in there and took it. Filthy yellow player. Whatever. It's fine. So, you'll, their town center is actually very easy to get to. All you need to do is go up beside this market here and uh, I think that this scout may start attacking or may start spazzing out. Either or. Uh, once you get up here, get right up to their gates and then unload. I, I probably should have not right clicked. Well, it looks like they're not going to come for me. They have a bunch of mangonels and cavaliers and eventually paladins, I believe. But uh, once you start attacking, they'll immediately come towards you, but it's so easy. 
Maintenant, the core legends est enfin qu'un procide. And they, they'll be driven to suicide, and you will win the mission. Remember, all you need to do, take out the town centers. As we rode into Rhin, a sea of peasants and lords knelt before Jean. Some even knelt to kiss a horse's hoofprints, cannon thundered, and a thousand flags danced in the breeze. In the enormous palace, the Dauphin knelt before the Archbishop, and rose as King of France. Prayers, anthems, and sermons filled the great chateau. Interspersed among perfumed dukes and ladies were tattered soldiers from our army, many still bearing wounds. Jeanne herself was at the king's side, as was her bedraggled battle standard. Despite the celebration, I know in my heart that this war is far from over. Our fathers and grandfathers died fighting against the English. Jean gives us hope, but I do not know if hope is enough to ensure victory. And there we go, another scenario done. A pretty easy one in all honesty. 45 game minutes it took me. Could have been shorter. Uh, I didn't know that can of Gillian was made on moderate, but it seemed to come at me much later on and my castle just obliterated it when I wanted to convert it but you can use that can cannon galleon to take out the town centers from C uh, Sh of Shalon and Troy so that will actually make it much easier for you if that is the case uh, otherwise use trebuchets all you need to take out is the town centers don't bother taking out anything else it'll make the um, mission harder for yourself I could have ran in there with like paladins or something and took the uh, town centers out as well, but uh, I don't I don't really feel like building up like that, so I just used trebuchets. So there's my military stats. I lost 25 units, unfortunately. Lost most of my first army of halberdiers running in there to Shalon, but it's fine. I knew what I had to do, so it was fine. Uh, yep, collection stats. I don't expect to be the. the Map explored, um, obviously I didn't really explore the map that much, you don't need to really. And I don't think Troy or Shillong go to the Imperial Age, so there you go. So I got two castles, not too many. Uh, Rhyme, Rhyme has two as well. I think they're kind of out of range though, so you don't need to go and take them out. And lastly, here is the timeline. Three battle events, probably for the three uh, people I took out. Well, maybe not actually. Uh, yeah. So there you go, that was Mission 4, or Scenario 4, The Rising. Next time we're going to take out on the Siege of Paris. This is a lot like the first one, and unlike with Messiah, it's, uh, you get so many units and your, your objective is just to get to the end. But it's much harder than the first one, <laughs> it's quite interesting actually. Um, yeah, it's much harder than the first one, it's probably the hardest mission in the Joan of Arc campaign. Uh... Then again, I don't really remember the sixth one that well. But uh, yeah, I think this one's going to be one of the hardest ones. So yeah, that's it. So I'll see you guys next time.